Hey folks, I'm Deceased Crab! That's right. Have I ever shown off the intro to this? I thought I might. That'll happen. Uncle Sleeve. Rude. That's fine. Very rude. Don't have to find all of them, just all the ones necessary to beat Ganon. I have most of them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can actually configure how many crystals you need to beat Ganon. Uh-oh, mode 7. Nintendo loved using that stuff on the Super Nintendo era. Look at this style of force. Maybe don't force people along at spear point. Is it my time to shine? Oh no, where's she going? Not necessarily. Not necess- actually in this seed, yes, necessarily. So... Gan is behind the, uh, Aghanim tree drop, so... <laughs> well... Uh, right before I recorded this... I did the following. You'll notice that my rupee counter is up. I went here, and I spent about five, ten, it was more like seven, about seven minutes going into this room, getting the 20 rupees, and leaving. So now I can afford whatever ridiculous garbage Zora has for sale. Let's do that! I just don't want to isolate the check. Now, I've been using a lot of lingo that randomization runners use. Uh, to isolate a check means to check part of it, to check like one or two locations in a region and not check one of them because you can't, and then forget about it later. You think, oh, I checked that area. Well, yeah, I checked Zora Ledge, but I didn't check Zora. So I gotta go keep these checks from being isolated. It's called being a responsible randomization player. And if you're not responsible, then you're dead. I have the loudest controller in the world, don't I? I was re-watching these so I could write down where I'd been. I have the loudest controller. <laughs> All right, Zora, what do you got for me today? Aside from disappointment. Ooh, I have been scammed into buying a treasure map. Duck doesn't know where to find me. Is it a duck or is it a swan? When he's underwater, does he get wet? Or does the water get him instead? Nobody knows. Particle Man. Starring Christian Bell. Right, so I need to go check the Lumberjack Hut. I walked right by that place in video 3. And I realized, after recording video 4, wait a minute. What am I missing? I looked over everything. Everything! And after staring at maps for a while, I realized at long last that I was bad at bouncing off of trees. Also, I forgot the lumberjack hut. And I haven't gone in there. Right there. See that? I'm gonna do that after lumberjack hut. 
Unless Lumberjack cut is something ridiculous like Hyrule Castle and I get lost in the weeds looking for something else entirely. What's up? Oh, well, that disappoints me. We're not angry at you, we're just disappointed. Hmm. So when I say seed, I mean the randomization seed. You take a random number and it jostles up the everything. This is the House of Chicken Ray. You know, House of Chicken Ray. Hooray! What is in the box? <laughs> Arg. Okay. I have uh, to go to Agna Cave. Agna is the man who enjoys his fish dinner. And normally, he's right over here. After Agna Cave, I've got to go in there. I just never considered the possibility that I would have to, as a Bill Cipher Bunny, go into the dark world and then creatively mirror around. But here we are. Ah, you see in the upper left, that's how many items are left in the whole of Skull Woods. It's because I got the compass. See this? Yeah, I've got the compass to Skull Woods D3. Oh, I did it. I saved myself some hassle and oh no. Well, I've got half magic. Hello, friends. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I see you. I'm gonna wait for this to go out. I'm gonna play it safe, not play it loud. Super Nintendo thought they would advertise a Play It Loud campaign. But you know what? These are Super Nintendo games. Volume is not your strong point. It's just not. Oh, where will I go? You need a sword to get through this part. Unless you've enabled some sort of swordless flag, in which case, I don't know what happens. Something the logic. And there I go, spending all of my... Uh, all of my cred. By cred, I mean all of my magic. Wait for the hand, because you don't want it to pick you up out of this falling pit. And here's Mothula. In all his glory. Now, recently, I've been watching a lot of, uh, I've been watching a lot of combo randomizers and learning a great deal about the physics of Zelda. Wait, hang on. I have very low health. I have very low health. Never occurred to me that I was going to die. Hmm, bad. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Oops. Well, sometimes they ma you have to make tough decisions. Anyway, apparently the way Mothula works is the only reason he's immune, or she, or it, it's like, whichever. The only reason Mothula is immune to the damage of their own spikes is because they have levels 4 and I think 5 damage immunity. So that means a fully powered up and spin dashed butter sword or bread sword, that is the tempered and golden swords, will not damage Mothula. Let's save some magic for Mothula. Want to use the fire rod. Can I light these guys on fire with a lamp? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. Wait, I could knock them into a pit. I cannot knock them into a pit. You know what? No! Alright, you know what? Forget saving it. I have places to go, enemies to kill. Now, DC, you've got to kill Mothula this time. None more of this dying. Dying electricity. 
None more of that. Do you have any potions? Look at you. You don't even have potion. You have a blue potion. Okay. What do you mean that doesn't count? Ah! No! No! Rude! Okay, wait. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Why did he do two damage? Oh, crikey. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna go somewhere else. Mafula, harder than I expected. So... Still need to beat Mafula, but... I'm gonna take a little detour. You see... From here... I can go to here. I can't swim, that's for sure. But I don't have to swim. I can go somewhere else. Oh, those things will totally kill me, so if I need to mirror out, I will. I wasn't imagining they were going to do three hearts with one hit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So I have lots of items, but what I don't have is health. I've made... I haven't made any mistakes. None that are huge anyway. But... I also didn't realize it was going to challenge me quite so much this time. But it is. So when you say you're gonna mirror to avoid damage, do it. Wait for him to swoop around and then just get out of, uh, Siegfried. Ah-ha-ha! Here we are. Okay, there are a couple doors I can check out while I'm here. That's right. I don't actually want to do that yet. I could check that door, but there's not much point. Let's start with this top thing over here. Desert Palace Final has become a fortune teller. That doesn't make me feel good. It makes me sad. Ooh. Some people call it the brewery. I call it the latrine because it looks like an outhouse. Mm-hmm. Ha 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 ha. Yes. I spent all that time farming rupees, and what do you do to me? You do that. Hmm. <laughs> well played, game. Let's go over to the east and check out the checkerboard cave. Or, I've seen checkerboard cave, so what is this? Survey says... Swap Palace. Completely within logic, Swamp Palace. Nope! Look at that, D2, no keys. There is a hint over here and a chest up there. Note to self, do not check the big chest in Ganon's tower if I can avoid it. It would be disheartening. So some people haven't been paying close attention. And they ask, how do you know these things? And the answer is, I have been reading the hints on those triangle tablets, and that's why I knew there was a set of gloves in the well. So, I found the moon pearl. That means I am fully functional in the dark world. That's super. I knew I was going to find it soonish. I just couldn't be certain where. You know what? No. That was a waste of good blue potion. And you know what? I can afford it. 
You don't get to tell me that was a waste. I needed it for my activities. Sometimes you just have to spend money to make Desert Palace Final. Is this Desert Palace Final? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't have any keys there. And I don't have a big key, so I know where that is. It's in my arm. Why don't I take a small break, feel a little sorry for myself, and then keep exploring now that I have full Dark World access, thanks to the Moon Pearl. Wow, okay. I'm Deceased Crab. Good night.